On October 2015, Bohol was hit by an earthquake with a magnitude of 7.2. The earthquake killed over 200 people and destroyed the majority of the establishments. And as we all know, in the near future, scientists have predicted that the West Valley Fault Line in Quezon City would move, causing a massive earthquake, and this phenomenon would be called the Big One. Here with us today is a physicist, Dr. Antonin Camacho, to explain this phenomenon. So, Dr. Camacho, yes. what's the science we're dealing with here? Okay, so we all know that earthquakes are caused by the friction of tectonic plates sliding against each other, usually along a fault line. So, seismic waves are released upon this action and are categorized into P or S waves. First come the P waves, which compress and expand solids and liquids, like, like squeezing a sponge. The S waves follow and move liquids up and down. So, both of these waves are called body waves, which happen in the Earth's interior. The surface waves that come after are attributed to the most shaking and damage we experience and go long distances. Uh, then, Dr. Camacho, what, what is the big one? So you see, the big one will come from the West Valley Fault, which is a fault line as I discussed earlier, which runs from, you see, Laguna to Bulacan. The West Valley Fault was estimated to move every 400 years and with its last recorded movement being in 1658, the next one may happen well within the century. So, you know, we're quite overdue. Big one. Nah, nah, nah. The expected magnitude would be around 7.2, which would mean an earthquake releasing 63.5 times as much energy as the nuclear bomb dropped on Hiroshima. It has been estimated that around 1,400 schools will be affected, and one of the most affected schools is the one we're at right now, the Ateneo. Big one? More like. No. So, regarding news on the big one, how would you. Did you feel that? What the? What, what was that? It's an earthquake! What, it's an earthquake! Should we hit the safety? No, no, this is the perfect time. Talk about earthquake safety procedures. Tell them! So, in an earthquake, there are actually a lot of procedures to take. Like, duck cover hold when you're indoors. And, and make sure that no matter what, when you're outside, stay away from any building with glass because glass does not fall properly. Head over to the nearest evacuation center and wait for the aftershocks. Here in the Ateneo, the fields are the best place to run to. It is important that evacuation spots are in open places to avoid falling debris. That being said, refrain from entering any buildings as they may collapse. Although being inside, they feel safe, it truly is the last place you want to be during an earthquake. Yes, yes. However, many of us spend most of our day inside other than the duck covered hold room. It is crucial that you do not, I repeat, you do not use an elevator. It is a dangerously closed space whose functions depend on the structures within them in the building. <laughs> Instead, take note of your building's emergency exits and use those. This also applies to fires. Knowledge is the key to survival. And remember, stay safe. Remember, 